King County is a diverse, complex area in landscapes and population. Knowing how it changes over space and time impacts many of the decisions we make every day. Where we live, how we get around, how we manage our lives. A well-designed map can be a powerful tool for navigating this complex world. And some of the best maps in our region are made here at the King County GIS Center. We really would need to do some analysis. You know, maps are cool because they connect people to places. And a geographic information system, or GIS, connects data to maps instead of displaying it with tables or spreadsheets. It's software that helps you visualize data and helps you make better decisions. Decisions like where to buy a house. Take a look at King County's Parcel Viewer. We created it for internal county staff to use, but the fact of the matter is over 90% of the use of it is from outside the county, and it's realtors, it's brokers, it's people interested in real estate. What kind of house is it? What, how big is it? Uh, how many stories? How many bathrooms? Is it on a steep slope? Is it near a wetland? All the things that go into the uh, assessment of property are stored in the GIS. Need to plan your public transit route? Try Metro's Trip Planner. How do I get from my house to the courthouse at 4 in the afternoon? Uh, King County Metro has a trip planner and in the background of that is GIS. We don't even think about the fact that they're powered by geographic data, they're just there. The maps that are around for transit around, around the metro, it's a GIS service. Who knew that, that that was done? We just accept it as part of our daily life. Google and Bing and all those mapping websites, people say, why don't we just use Google Maps? And I say, where do you think Google Maps got their data from? They got it from the county. And as our region grows, GIS data can help us visualize and make the most of our communities. This is the Get Around Guide for Capitol Hill and the U District. It's kind of a kitchen sink map because it has so much content and it's really designed to show travel options where people can get around their neighborhoods uh, without a car. Uh, so it includes uh, transit routes, uh, both bus and uh, light rail and streetcar neighborhood bike routes, uh, signed bike routes that people can follow. There's also pea patches, libraries, playgrounds. It's really designed not just for showing people how to get around in the neighborhood, but where they can go in the neighborhood to, to do things. If you hike on King County's backcountry trails, you'll be glad to know the maps are updated regularly with mobile GPS units. Whenever there's a new trail, or a trail that's been modified. Well, I do walk the trail, call it the trail alignment. I can just start it going and it'll log a point as I walk the trail. It's taking the signals from the satellites to log those points. They hike the trail and they bring back the data so that we know exactly where that trail is going uh, inside the park. And from that information, then we're able to make really high quality maps. The GIS Center's client services also help cities, businesses, and many others tackle complex challenges. But we were approached by the city of Snoqualmie. And you know, it's a growing suburban community and they had a number of um, fire station locations and they were becoming concerned about you know, adequate response time. So we helped them do drive time analysis so they could make an informed decision about what would be the most effective location for a new fire station. This is something that you can't do just by looking at a map. It really takes geospatial processing, processing of the information about drive times on different highways or different roads or side streets, you know, what the speeds are, what the friction points are, what the resistance is, and so on. Regionally, a lot of companies use this. UPS had its origin here in Seattle, is a big user of GIS, and they're actually Every morning, and, and even through the day, they're changing the routes of their truck drivers. You know, that's just one example of how something that used to be done very manually is now done in an automated way, using GIS. So that looks pretty good. King County is also a regional leader in GIS training. Welcome to the GIS Academy. 
GIS Academy is a, a fun and exciting way to uh, advance your skills in GIS. Maybe you've been do, doing uh, geographic information systems for a while, but you want to hone your skills on, say, editing data. You can do that in the GIS Academy. And a lot of people come here from all over the region. In fact, all over the world. We're a regional service provider and we provide excellent training in geographic information systems. I like to think about us as being uh, world class and close to home. The King County GIS Center, a key regional resource for the future.